The automotive industry seems to be on a countdown. At any moment, Tesla could unveil what many already consider the boldest move in its history, the long-awaited Model Q. After years of rumors, cancellations, and revivals, everything indicates that Elon Musk is about to unveil the brand's most affordable electric car. For a long time, the promise of a truly affordable model seemed nearly impossible, but the latest signs coming directly from Tesla show that this launch is getting closer. The rapid pace of production at factories, the discrete strategies, and even some unintentional leaks fuel the expectation that something big is coming. The Model Q, or Model 2 as it's also known, won't be just another Tesla vehicle. It could mark a watershed moment for both the company and the entire automotive industry. The goal is clear, to democratize access to electric cars. A cheaper Tesla would not only attract a new legion of consumers, but also put direct pressure on automakers that have dominated the affordable vehicle segment until now. Think about it. The possibility of driving a Tesla for a price close to that of a traditional combustion car is something that immediately sparks curiosity. Although an official announcement hasn't been made yet, sources close to the company assure that the production line is already being prepared. Reports are that the first final prototypes are ready, and recent statements from Musk himself about the arrival of more affordable models early this year only reinforce the expectation. Everything suggests that the reveal is just a matter of days away. Interestingly, the Model Q name hasn't been confirmed yet. Even so, it's already dominating debates on forums, social media, and specialized channels. For some, it's just an internal code name, perhaps even a joke from Tesla. Others believe the official name will be as surprising as the promised price. Whatever the final choice, it's almost certain that the brand will maintain its bold style, combining futurism and irreverence. This expectation didn't come out of nowhere. In recent weeks, Tesla has left a trail of clues, mysterious patent filings, images of camouflaged prototypes at Giga Texas, and enigmatic statements from Musk in interviews. The billionaire has already hinted that Tesla's people's car is in development, but as is always the case with him, it's hard to distinguish provocation from reality. More than just the price, the cultural impact of the potential Model Q is also a topic of debate. After all, we're talking about an electric car from one of the world's most sought-after brands, which could cost less than a basic gasoline-powered sedan. If this happens, it could decisively accelerate the global energy transition. Imagine seeing Teslas driving not only in upscale neighborhoods, but also in working-class areas. That would be the true revolution the market has been waiting for. However, discussing price remains a sensitive issue. Since Musk first mentioned a $25,000 Tesla, this goal has become a global obsession. But is that price really achievable? The point is that this figure can only be sustained if the tax credit offered in the United States remains in effect. Currently, this incentive reduces the final price of an electric car by about $7,500. If it's eliminated, the calculations change completely. Without the subsidy, the highly anticipated Model Q could hit the market costing close to $35,000, still competitive, but far from the initial promise. Even if Tesla's new model were still the cheapest in the lineup, the impact on the average consumer wouldn't be the same if the final price rose beyond what was promised. A $10,000 difference could be the very borderline between, now I can buy it, and it's still out of my reach. The market knows this, and so does Tesla. Therefore, internally, there's a race to move production forward as much as possible trying to launch the car while the tax incentives are still in effect. It's literally a race against the clock and against the U.S. Congress, which could end this benefit as early as 2026. There's also the psychological factor of the famous magic number, $25,000. More than a cost target, this figure symbolizes the breaking of a taboo. It's the point at which a Tesla begins to compete on equal terms with traditional cars like the Toyota Corolla, Honda Civic, or Hyundai Elantra. And if the average consumer has the choice between a combustion engine sedan and an electric Tesla for the same price, the decision tends to be obvious. That's why Elon Musk emphasizes this number so much. It doesn't just represent marketing, but a milestone in the industry's revolution. Of course, producing an electric vehicle within this price range is a huge challenge. To achieve this, Tesla will have to aggressively cut costs. This isn't just about aesthetic tweaks or simpler finishes, but also structural changes using less sophisticated materials, eliminating technologies considered premium, 
and even profound transformations in manufacturing logistics. But if there's one thing Musk enjoys, it's challenging standards. And this is exactly the kind of risk he typically embraces. Rumors suggest the Model Q will benefit from an innovative assembly system based on Giga castings, huge aluminum molds that drastically reduce the number of parts and simplify the production process. This technology has already proven effective in the Model Y, reducing the need for specialized labor, reducing the number of robots, and speeding up assembly. The result? Lower costs and a greater chance of delivering on the promise of a competitive price. The idea of a Tesla costing less than mainstream cars is impressive in itself, but what's really striking is the possibility that this vehicle could, in practice, be practically free for the consumer. How would this be possible? The answer lies in Tesla's strategy of transforming its cars into sources of passive income for owners. The concept is bold. Buyers of the model will be able to make it available for Tesla's robo-taxis fleet during times when they're not using the vehicle, during work hours, at night, or while sleeping. This way, the car would automatically generate revenue to offset the purchase cost. This idea has been discussed for years, but it's only now beginning to take shape thanks to the advancement of unsupervised autonomous driving, which Musk promises to expand to several cities by the end of 2025. In practice, it would work like a driverless Uber, but using the owner's own car, automatically rented through Tesla's platform. Instead of sitting idle in the garage, the vehicle would drive around the city, transporting passengers and generating profit. This could drastically reduce car financing costs. Some business models already speculated suggest that the Model Q could cost around $100 per month, provided it were made available to fleets as a robo-taxi for about 40 hours per week. It may sound unlikely, but this is precisely the proposal that's turning heads in the automotive market. It may seem bold, but coming from Tesla, this proposal sounds more like calculated boldness than reckless risk. Naturally, important questions arise. How can the car's safety be guaranteed when it's being used by third parties? Who will be held liable in cases of accidents, damage, or even vandalism? Tesla is already exploring solutions for these scenarios, such as sentry mode, an in-vehicle surveillance system, and automatic updates capable of locking the car in suspicious situations. Furthermore, it is speculated that shared versions will come equipped with additional sensors, enhanced cameras, and real-time monitoring. This idea of transforming the automobile into a service could completely redefine the concept of ownership. What was once merely a passive asset becomes a small source of income on wheels, something especially appealing to those who never imagined they could afford a Tesla. A college student, for example, could purchase a Model Q at a low cost and, during off-peak hours, let it automatically generate extra income. Families who rarely use their cars could also easily monetize their vehicles. It's no longer just about owning a Tesla, but about making it work for you. Among all the ideas circulating around the Model Q, one of the most intriguing involves a project still little understood, the CyberCab. The name sounds as futuristic as anything that comes from Elon Musk's mind, but it could be much more than just the promise of a robo-taxi. Some say it could actually be the basis for the cheapest Tesla ever. For a long time, the CyberCab was described as a 100% autonomous vehicle with no steering wheel or pedals, ready to navigate cities on its own. However, recent reports and images show versions with a steering wheel and driver's seat. The inevitable question then arises, could the Model Q actually be a disguised version of the CyberCab? Rumors suggest that Giga Texas is already producing bodies similar to those of the CyberCab, using the same Giga casting technology used in current models. The logic makes sense. If the structure has already been developed for the robo-taxi, nothing would stop Tesla from leveraging this foundation and launching a simpler version, equipped with manual controls, aimed at the average consumer. This would reduce development costs, speed up production, and fit perfectly with Tesla's history of reusing architectures, motors, batteries, and even software across different models. If the CyberCab does indeed become the brand's entry-level car, it would be a smart move to save time, money, and resources. And considering Tesla's rush to bring an affordable model to market before tax incentives expire, this decision makes perfect sense. Furthermore, the CyberCab's futuristic design, seen by many as too bold for domestic use, could be adapted with interior and structural tweaks to appeal to the general public. Rumors suggest that the human version would feature front seats, a removable steering wheel, and even a trunk. 
elements absent from the original robo-taxi concept. In other words, Tesla could be creating a hybrid between a personal car and a shared urban spacecraft. This strategy isn't unprecedented in the technology world. First, an advanced product is created for corporate use, and then it's adapted for the average consumer. It happened with computers, smartphones, and now everything indicates it could happen again with automobiles. What's surprising is the speed with which Tesla appears to be implementing this. Recent images of molded bodies reinforce the suspicion that, if the CyberCab is indeed the basis for the Model Q, its launch is much closer than previously thought. This, of course, only increases the mystery surrounding the car. If Tesla's popular project is indeed linked to the CyberCab, it makes perfect sense that the design will be rethought to balance accessibility and brand identity. There's no doubt that the Model Q will have a simpler look than the premium models, but that doesn't mean it's boring. On the contrary, the expectation is for a compact, functional, and intelligent design with that futuristic touch that has become Tesla's signature. The idea isn't to impress with luxury, but with efficiency and practicality, and this alone could attract a large number of fans. The car is expected to be smaller than the Model 3, with straighter lines, extensive use of lightweight and recyclable materials, and a shape designed for urban mobility. This choice reduces the vehicle's weight, improves performance, and saves energy. Furthermore, a compact car fits in any parking space and appeals to younger audiences, who today prioritize functionality over status. In short, the idea seems to be a smartphone on wheels. To keep the price low, Tesla must forego features considered superfluous. A panoramic roof? Unlikely. Heated or ventilated seats? Also unlikely. A premium sound system? Perhaps only on the more expensive versions, if they exist. The idea is to focus on the essentials without losing what makes a Tesla unique. This is the biggest challenge. Reducing costs without losing the product's soul. The exterior design may inherit the Model Y's features, but with fewer curves and more straight lines, favoring mass production with standardized molds. Rumor has it the rear will be less inclined, prioritizing interior space and visibility, while the front will likely retain the tapered LED headlights and short hood, as there's no need for large engines. There's even the possibility that the base version will have only two doors, something that's divisive but could appeal to those seeking maximum economy. Inside, the dashboard will follow Tesla's minimalist style, a giant central screen controlling the car's entire system. No physical buttons or traditional dials. This format, already established in other models, reduces parts, cables, and consequently, cost. The interior finish will be simple, with durable rather than sophisticated materials, suitable for a car designed for intense daily use. Even though it's compact and streamlined, the Model Q shouldn't compromise on what truly matters to Tesla fans, the smart features that have transformed its cars into true gadgets on wheels. Rumors suggest that all essential features will be present, including online software updates that improve the car over time, something that already gives the model an advantage over the competition, even with an aggressive entry price. Furthermore, it appears the vehicle will be fully integrated with the official Tesla app, allowing you to remotely activate the air conditioning, track the car in real time, receive security alerts, and install updates directly from your smartphone. In other words, anyone who buys the Model Q won't just get a basic car, they'll get a true Tesla, with all the technological expertise that the name implies. Among the most anticipated features, the famous sentry mode is almost certain. This surveillance system transforms the car into a sort of bodyguard on wheels, using external cameras to identify suspicious movements and record potential threats around the vehicle. It's especially valuable in large cities, where vandalism is common, and it's already become a major differentiator for Tesla owners. Even though it's a more affordable version, the Model Q will need to inspire trust, and sentry mode should be a key part of that package. Another feature expected to be included is Tesla Theater, the multimedia center that lets you watch movies, series, and videos directly on the car's screen while it's parked or charging. It may seem like overkill for an entry-level model, but this type of functionality has become one of the company's trademarks, and considering that the Model Q will be aimed primarily at a young, urban audience that values connectivity and practicality, it makes perfect sense to keep it. Watching Netflix or YouTube in the car has already become an affordable luxury that will certainly be present in the new model.
With so much information emerging and the movement behind the scenes at Tesla becoming increasingly intense, it wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that the Model Q's official announcement could happen at any moment. The signs are everywhere. Giga Texas is operating at a rapid pace, with molds and structures being produced non-stop, while Elon Musk drops hints, some subtle, some not so much, that something big is about to be revealed. For those who follow the electric vehicle sector, the feeling is that we're facing a switch about to be flipped, capable of redefining the market. The specialized press is already on high alert. Automotive portals, technology channels, and even financial analysts are following every detail, ready to report the news. At any moment, a simple tweet from Elon Musk or a surprise press conference could confirm what many already consider certain. The production of the Model Q is already a reality. And along with this announcement, the final price, the first available versions, and of course the car's long-awaited official name are also expected. After all, the name of this model remains one of the most speculative points on social media. For Tesla, the timing couldn't be more strategic. The company needs to reaffirm its leadership in innovation and accessibility, especially after a year of fluctuating sales of its most expensive models. Launching an entry-level vehicle now wouldn't just be a marketing move, but a positioning statement, demonstrating that the company remains at the top of the automotive technology chain while simultaneously being able to democratize its products in a way no other brand has achieved to date. Internal analysts believe this could be Tesla's boldest move since the Model 3 launched, and perhaps even more important than that. And so, after all this, it's clear that the Tesla Model Q could truly change the way we view electric cars forever. An affordable vehicle, packed with technology, and with the potential to revolutionize urban mobility, exactly as Elon Musk likes to do, by breaking paradigms.